In this screencast, we'll look at some data from the Sleep as Android app. To get started, create a new bucket and choose the Sleep Cloud template. After authorizing Xenobase, existing data is imported. To get new data, hit the refresh icon. Each sleep event has one or more tags, the sleep efficiency, which is the percentage of time the app thought you were in deep sleep, the time you went to bed, how long you stayed in bed, the number of sleep cycles you went through, and your subjective sleep rating. The default dashboard shows histograms for sleep efficiency and duration. We can use this to exclude outliers. I'll also exclude sleep events tagged with jet lag. This scatter plot shows us how strongly sleep duration and efficiency are correlated. To see how sleep duration and ratings correlate, we could add another scatter plot or update this one. Sleep efficiency appears to have a small negative correlation with sleep duration, and we can consider it significant because the 95% confidence interval does not touch the zero. Instead of correlating data, we can compare two conditions. For example, we can compare weekends with weekdays. Looks like we have one hour more sleep on weekends. If you have any other data in Xenobase, you can create views that combine multiple buckets. If you're using the Moves app, you can use that data to directly add locations to every sleep event. Events with locations can then have weather data added to them. Feel free to experiment and send us your feedback. Thanks.